Alrighty, hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is just a quick test. I've got the... I was trying to... Okay. I was trying to get a laser here, a missile, to fire on this uh, helicopter, and I couldn't do it. So I just put this turret, and what I had to do is I actually had to fly over top of the turret in order for it to pick up, to pick it up as a target. But now you can see it's being tracked. The laser is, is tracking the target. Uh, I don't have... All right. So I've got the missile there. Now the missile's calibrated. Um, let's see if we can go up. Let's see if we can go up a little bit higher, actually. Yeah, I was just kind of playing around here. Just I wanted to see if I could shoot this thing out of the sky with a missile. And, uh, but I was having troubles picking it up on the radar, but now there's a radar on the missile and now there's a radar on the front of the ship. So I can confirm and then you can see the laser beam. So it is still tracking. It is still tracking us. Okay. So I should be able to shoot it out of the sky with this missile if I've made the missile properly. Right, so I'm gonna have to figure out missiles a little bit different. I don't know if they need, if they need both, if they need radar and they need uh, direct target data. If they do, I'll link it up. We'll link it up to this real quickly. But now what I want to do is I just want to do that. <laughs> Done. All right, I thought that was pretty cool. So. What was I, what was I uh, thinking there? I said it might need both composite data, right? So because we have composite data to send to the connector, right? We would basically need our radar data to go into here. And this would be to send to the connector so we could do that. Oh, maybe I need a microcontroller. Why would I need it to do that? It should go, this should go to the fins, right? Hmm. Yeah, so we know about the hard point. Uh, what we don't know is... Composite input, composite input, is that right? Composite data send to the connect, that's to send out. This is receiving it from the connected connector. Okay, and what information are we receiving? We are receiving the target information. So then what would we need this radar on the missile for? So let's get rid of that and let's try this for a second. Let's put a warhead on top of it. Just like that, and we'll arm it too for I don't know 30 seconds, something like that. All right, let's let's see if this is gonna work then. Maybe it is that simple. Um, if I can pick it up on the radar with the turret, then I can. So in the, and of course this is just an example of of the radar is fixed. So as you can see, it's 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 fixed. It doesn't really move around. But we're gonna have broader spectrum radar on the top of the ship that will pick up the object. And then all the guns will align to it in, in, in a different way. It's just I don't have that set up right now. So, right, I haven't set up radar. I'm just about to get uh, ready to set up radar. Okay, we'll set that to 60. Um, okay, we'll release the drone. And then we just have to go up, basically. And then we can fly right over top. There we are, right over top. 
just has to go, just has to pick it up because it's static. So I want to try something. Let's see. See, it has to come into the, you see how close it has to be in order for it to be detected, right? Let's try one more thing because I'm excited. I have the target, which is the launchable helicopter, right? That's, and now I could do target practice with it. So if we turn this from static to, uh, I guess it has, to, it has to stay static, actually. But I'm wondering if I turn up the field of view. This is where I can start to play around with the field of view. And a really kind of tweak, figure out radar, like I did with space and all that, right? Spend hours and hours and hours just... We got the target practice, so I don't know. I could upload this as is. It's pretty plain Jane. It, it, it moves, and it's got the all the basic components on it. If, if you wanted to use it in the same way. We have a mobile target here that we can launch. See, I haven't hooked up the radar yet. Let's send that to six. And then what you need to do is release the drone. And then that allows you to come up. Okay, and then we can come over. So I increased the field of view for Y. So I'm just trying to see if that'll pick us up. Oh yeah, it did. It did a little bit. All right, so let's uh, activate the autopilot. And we're going to go up to our elevation of 60. This thing's going to be deadly when it's complete. Oh, that's it. 60 is only that high. Uh, maybe we'll go 100 for the purpose of the missiles. We'll do double that. All right, there we go. Now I want to see if we can if we can knock this thing out of the sky. Well, <laughs> well that's where we're at now. Uh, figuring, trying to figure out the ballistics here. I guess I still have a lot to learn. So anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.